G'day, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, here by the Great Ocean Road in Australia. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys all about the science of sunscreen. So if you go out in the sun for long enough, your skin will start to burn. That's because the sunlight is actually made up of ultraviolet or UV radiation. This UV radiation actually penetrates your skin and causes your melanocyte cells to produce a brown pigment known as melanin. And this process is gonna give you a really nice tan, but the radiation can also damage the DNA in your skin cells, causing melanoma and skin cancer. So, uh, it's kind of bad. Fun fact, two in three Australians will be diagnosed with skin cancer before they are 70 years old and it kills over a thousand Australians every year. Wait, that wasn't a fun fact. Save me science. I'll save you with sunscreen. sunscreen. How does it work, you ask? Well, let me tell you. So there are two types of sunscreens, inorganic and organic. Inorganic sunscreens, such as zinc, reflect and scatter the light away from the skin to protect it. Organic carbon-based sunscreens actually absorb the radiation into their chemical bonds and then they slowly break down, releasing that energy back into the environment. Simply, sunscreen stops ultraviolet radiation from penetrating your skin to protect it from that DNA damage. Sunscreen for the win! Want to know some more about sunscreen? So SPF stands for sun protection factor. So if you were using SPF 30, it would take 30 times longer to get sunburned than if you weren't using any sunscreen at all. Well, theoretically. But they also recommend using an entire shot glass worth of sunscreen. That's a lot. And that crap's expensive. Did you know? The Fitzpatrick scale classifies skin color in order to estimate the response of different skin types to ultraviolet light. Where do you stand on the scale? So it's really important to know that sunscreen breaks down rapidly after its application. And that breakdown is sped up by sweating in the sun, rubbing, and especially swimming. So you really need to reapply your sunscreen every couple of hours. Not every four hours, like they say. Damn lying sunscreen companies. You should also reapply your sunscreen just after you come back from swimming. I know what you're thinking. I know what you want to know. Is sunscreen bad for your health? Well, a study in 2008 by the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention did an experiment and found the sunscreen ingredient oxybenzone in the urine of almost 100% of people tested. That means that the chemical oxybenzone is actually being absorbed through our skin and into our bodies, where it could have a number of detrimental effects. Scientists aren't too clear if this is a serious health concern. However, it's probably much safer still to wear sunscreen than to get burnt and risk melanoma or skin cancer. Harmful chemicals that might cause cancer, sun that might cause cancer. If you really want to protect yourself from the sun, be smart about it. Remember the rules? Slip on a shirt, slap on a hat, Slop on some sunscreen. And I think they made some more dumb ones. Slide into sunnies or seek shade and some crap like that. Anyway, thanks so much guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button below. Subscribe for more traveling scientist videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey there guys, I've actually got a friend who's just started up an environmentally friendly surf company and it sells sunscreen that doesn't contain those harsh chemicals that get absorbed into our skin. Definitely check out the website, it's called Consurfers and if you really want to be safe in the sun, grab yourself some of that chemical free sunscreen. Cheers guys. The sun is burning my eyes! Duh! Oh. Do you know how hot it is to wear a lab coat on the beach? This is ridiculous. I'm sweating, absolutely sweating. God.